In the fish and basal tetrapods, we will be discussing about the conodonts. So, what are the conodonts? The conodonts are the ancient, now extinct organism, are the animals which resembled to the eel, and they were ancient fishes, and they had no jaws. So, these were first identified by the Latvian embryologist and paleontologist Christian Pander in 1856. They occur as phosphatic tooth-like microfossil term element. So, uh, the uh, phosphatic tooth-like microfossils, the microfossils as we have discussed that the fossils which are very small in size. So, and their fossils are termed as elements and what are the elements, what do the elements look like, we will be discussing. So, of the conodonts, uh, there are the three main groups that have been established. So, one are the proto, uh, protoconodonts, such as Herzina, and then there are the paraconodonts, such as Furnishina, and then there are the euconodonts. The first two are much more simpler conodonts, but the euconodonts are the more complex with cone, bars, and blades. So, here you can see the descriptive uh, morphology of the main type of the conodont elements. For the first two, we can see the protoconodonts, which is Herzina. You can see a basal cavity, and there is a cone like structure for the anterior is on the right side, you can see, and the posterior is on the left side. And for the same case, is the paraconodont Furnishina. You can see the cone like fossils or the elements for the Furnishina. You can see the basal cavity, and you can see that how they are different as well. So, conodonts are common in certain marine fasciae from the Cambrian to the Triassic. So, marine fasciae are the uh, parts of the marine uh, fossils which are present in the uh, oceans and they are uh, ranging from the Cambrian to the Triassic period. And the paraconodonts were much more uh, diverse during the mid-Cambrian period. So, what are the conodonts elements? The conodont elements are based on their uh, structures. They are uh, uh, divided into three groups. So, there are the three main morphotypes. Morpho means that how do they look like, type means their type. So, on the basis of their morphology, they have been divided into three main types. The basics of a crude single element to form the taxonomy. So, on the basis of their crude form, you can uh, divide them into different groups. So, one of them is the first one is the coniform. It is the simplest with the base surmounted by a cone-like cusp. So, it is the base and it is having a cone-like cusp just like we have seen earlier. And these are called coniform. And then there are the bars or ramiform. These elements consist of an elongate blade-like ridge with up to four processes developed posteriorly, anteriorly, anteriorly or laterally to the cusp. So, these are the bars or ramiform. And the, the third form is the pectiniform elements. So, the pectiniform elements make up the platforms or these are also called the platforms. The platforms have a wide range of shapes with the denticulate processes extendingly both anteriorly, that means towards the anterior part and the posteriorly uh, and or laterally from the area of basal cavity. And here you can see some diagrams for the coniform and remiforms. So, in the coniforms you can see the one cone-like structure while in the remiform you can see the multiple structures as we have seen in the text as well. So, these are the different form of the conodonts elements and they have been found in as a part of microfossils in the fossil record.